Good morning, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Noelle Bhatti. And I'm Maddie Parmenter. Today is Tuesday, April 30th. Happy birthday today to Byron Calderon Borges and Payne Robinson. Welcome to RT Today, brought to you by... The D. Buchanan Studio of Dance, Middletown's home for dancers. Come dance with us. In news, a man in Idaho was arrested of kicking a bison. While under the influence, a 40-year-old man kicked a bison in Yellowstone National Park. The man suffered several injuries and was arrested with alcohol-related charges. In entertainment, Gypsy Rose Blanchard attends a festival with her ex, Ken Erker, weeks after her divorce, divorce with Ryan Anderson. As of recently, more and more people have been seeing Gypsy and Ken together. Sightings include getting matching tattoos the day after announcing her divorce with Ryan, going into a grocery store hand in hand, and now being seen at the festival. In sports, the Lakers have been knocked out of the playoffs after their loss to the Denver Nuggets with a score of 108 to 106. The Nuggets advance to face the Minnesota Timberwolves in the next round starting next weekend. That's a wrap. Let's go to Maddie with today's announcements. Thanks, Noel. MHS Rising Seniors, who would like to be a part of the Senior Class Executive Board, need to pick up and return an application. Applications are located in Ms. Anderson's room, room 516, and Ms. Boyle's room, room 315. Completed applications are to be returned May 6th to be considered for this leadership position. May 1st is National Decision Day. This is a day where students make their college selection and celebrate their choice of college. At MHS, we would like to celebrate with you on Wednesday, May 1st. Feel free to wear any gear from your college selection. The counseling office also invites any seniors to fill out a flag with the school that they will be attending, career pathway or job after high school, or military brand say tend to surf. Come stop by the table outside the counseling office between classes and fill out a flag beginning May 1st. Students that have registered for either high school base or open campus FCC courses for the 2024-2025 school year must attend a meeting on Friday, May 3rd during Night's Quest in the auditorium. Please attend this meeting to receive dual enrollment paperwork and information about the process for dual enrollment in the upcoming school year. Seniors, the last day to submit your volunteer and community hours for this year is Friday, May 10th. There are blank forms located in the bin outside room 502. Please let Ms. Gibson know if you have any questions or concerns. The MHS Spring Plant Cell is now open through May 17th. Hours Monday through Friday are 1 p.m. through 3.15 p.m. and Saturday they are open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The sale is located in the greenhouse behind MHS. In sports, last night, boys varsity baseball beat Boonesboro 11 to one. Unfortunately, softball fell to Boonesboro. Boys varsity tennis beat Boonesboro four to one. Girls varsity tennis lost to Boonesboro. Tonight, girls lac lacrosse plays South Carroll tonight away. JV at 5.30 and varsity at seven. Boys varsity lacrosse plays South Carroll at home at six. Roll Knights. Now let's go to Eliana with a look at today's weather. Boy, is it sweaty today. Skin? Thanks, Did Maddie. Don't forget your sunglasses, as we are looking mostly sunny weather with temperatures as high as 82 degrees it. and as low as 60 degrees. Cloudy conditions are expected, but the sun will return at 2 p.m. That's it for weather. I'm Eliana Bergman, back to you in the studio. Thanks for watching. I'm Noel Bhatti. And I'm Maddie Parmenter. Be the reason someone smiles today. And we leave you this RT Plus piece by Chris Whitehead. Welcome back to Real Quick Review. I'm your host, Chris, and today I'll be reviewing Taylor Swift's latest album, The Tortured Poets Department. The Tortured Poets Department, Taylor Swift's 11th it, studio release, is an exploration of emotional depth and personal experiences. This album is a pop album, with influences from Swift's previous albums, Midnight's, Folklore, and Evermore. And it's filled with poetic I already got it and put it in the trash can, but apparently didn't like that. Cause My favorite tracks from the album are, we done? are I Can Fix Him, No Really I Can, The Black Dog, The Smallest Nails. Man Who Ever Lived, Yeah, just put it in the friggin' other These tracks room. showcase Swift's ability to weave compelling stories about Swift's experiences while leaving breakups That'd be funny with if it, like, blew musical arrangements. Overall, I would rate the Tortured Poets Department a 7 out of 10. It's a thoughtful and introspective album that offers a glimpse into Taylor Swift's emotional journey during the Eras Tour. Moreover, the album's rich storytelling and musical diversity make it a worthy addition to Swift's discography. If you're a fan of Taylor Swift's intermittent songwriting and emotive vocals, Wait, like this album is the definitely the worth yeah. a listen. I muted your mics, but the audio is still going over the video. That's why. How does that work if our I mics are muted? Know, but like, you 